Welcome, today I am going to show you how to make laughing gas and a few experiments with it. For this method of making laughing gas, you are only going to need three chemicals. Hydroxylamine, sodium nitrate and distilled water. We started off by weighing out the hydroxylamine, hydrochloride, sodium nitrate in a separate beaker and separately everything was dissolved in distilled water. Don't just add everything to a beaker and standard water because you're going to get laughing gas without actually being able to use it for something useful. The reaction is extremely exothermic, so we put the hydroxylamine into an Erlmeyer flask and added this addition funnel. We want to add the sodium nitrate solution as slowly as possible and it would be ideal if you even cool down the Erlmeyer flask using an ice bath. If you add the nitrate solution too quickly, it can get so hot that the solution starts boiling and splashes hot solution everywhere. To capture the resulting gas, I added this air balloon. You could of course purify the laughing gas by passing it through a washing bottle with a suitable liquid and later on through a drying tube, but I only wanted to demonstrate this process and for that I don't need pure laughing gas. Here you can see the overall reaction taking place. You get laughing gas, sodium chloride and water. For about half to one second after adding the nitrate solution to the hydroxylamine, nothing happens. But later on, a rapid gas production takes place and all of that stuff is laughing gas. After adding only 10 milliliters of the nitrate solution, the bottom flask was already getting hot, so I decided to let it cool down before proceeding. Do not inhale the laughing gas made via this process. I smelled it and it smells like nitrogen dioxide, only a little so I tried to test for it using potassium iodide starch paper which turned out negative. Smell remains a better indicator for nitrogen dioxide than the crude method I showed you. So please don't inhale this laughing gas because nitrogen dioxide is very toxic. The main reason why people know laughing gas is because it's used as an anesthetic at the dentist and because it's used for car tuning. Now a few reasons that laughing gas is used for car tuning is that it cools down the engine when injected as a liquid and because it's an oxidizing gas. You can observe the oxidizing properties. Paper burns more violently when in contact with laughing gas, but not as violently as with oxygen. Of course, oxygen has been tested for car tuning as well, but it's too aggressive and it may make your engine explode. Most of you, including me, have never seen solid laughing gas before and I wanted to see what it looks like. I also wanted to show a reaction with it. To solidify laughing gas efficiently, I filled up this balloon, connected it to a test tube and stuck it into liquid nitrogen. A few pieces were taken out and there you go, this is what solid laughing gas looks like. It's a white substance. We threw in some matches and the first two went out. If this was liquid oxygen, it would have caught on fire immediately. With the third match it finally ignited and we got this nice reaction. It was much less aggressive than anticipated. Because it was so much fun, I had to try it again. It was interesting to see the reaction start again because some of the nitrous oxide ions decided to fall down the test tube. Of course, there's also other methods to make laughing gas. Industrially, you heat ammonium nitrate to obtain laughing gas and water. But if you heat it too much, or if the reaction conditions are incorrect, you can end up with this. What you saw here was an explosion of ammonium nitrate, but it was not from it being prepared incorrectly. If you need laughing gas for a chemical reaction, it's best to bulk synthesize using the pocket reduction method and just buying a 2kg cylinder. By the way, laughing gas is also used in whipped cream and therefore you can also find it in these whipped cream gas cylinders. If you inhale laughing gas too often, you can completely deplete your vitamin B12 levels, which can be fatal. Oh, and if you inhale too much of it, just like with helium, you can suffocate and die. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to check out some of my other videos too. A special thanks goes out to all of my Patreons, because you guys make it possible to film all of this crazy stuff. 
If anyone else wants to become a Patreon and receive access to some exclusive videos, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Have a nice day and until next time.